five years of doing this, always give yourself an extra towel, like a hand towel, as your food towel. So then you have like, because there's never napkins, right? And you don't want messes. So then like you can, you know, keep a tidy space when you get coffee that's like dripping all over the place because it was Uber Eats delivered on a bike. Pro tip. You're welcome. Oh my god, is that us? I'm such a big fan. <laughs> hey, I'm, only, I'm only signed like four signatures. We gotta get you got you gotta get your signature get some, game up. Yeah, I gotta get some fun. This is kinda cool. A little intimate, a little quaint. Funny actually, my my brother went to London like a month ago, mm -hmm. and he watched a rugby event here. Oh really? At this place, yeah. No, no, no. like randomly. <laughs> so today is the typical media day, and then uh, warm up scrims. So we're scrimming foe uh, or. ITB into the breach into the breach yeah yeah so we'll scrim into the breach I like scheduling against like the international teams for the media day scrims just because it gives you a chance to like diversify who you play against a little bit ooh there's the are we doing media day on the field because that Yeah, they would right <laughs> hit you out wireless headphones and you could listen. But was that the Okay. Yeah. You guys can like sit there and leave your bags and stuff. So the team is all done media day, um, actually a really cool media day, and now we're in our practice room scrimming the faux roster, or ITB now. Um, and this is honestly like the best part of, of media day, is being able to like get in and get those reps in on land. Um, so yeah, here's what it looks like. You've got the pitch out there. And then behind me, top reds, behind me, top reds. One two, 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 well, but we were playing pretty well. Um, just a lot of like lack of synergy for our team right now. Uh, I am exhausted. My body is refusing to adapt to the London schedule. So I'm actually walking back to the hotel. Jason went to go get uh, some stuff from the store. Huss went to go take some medicine back at the hotel. And then Ryan and Spartan are still in the practice room. So, uh, it might be done for the day. I don't know. We're trying to see if another team will scrim us, but it's looking unlikely. And so I don't have a mouse and keyboard with me. I wasn't going to just hang out in the practice room doing nothing. So might be the end of the day. We'll see. I doubt we'll get into anything else. I will say the one thing that is really cool about this venue is the, how close it is. So like I just walked out that door and the hotel is that door. So like we're literally attached to the venue. Um, it's like a 30 second walk outside, which makes it super convenient. It's always nice when the venue is attached and it's raining. So we're gonna be a little quicker. So it's 7.50 p.m. Um, clearly no other scrim happened. Um, weird situation where I reached out to 
a bunch of teams, but was looking at like who's in our pool. We don't want to scrim phase or cloud nine. Um, and then the teams that were, uh, you know, in media, obviously we couldn't scrim. So I reached out to Quadrant, but they were supposed to scrim Shopify. But then, so then I reached out to Proton and they said they were supposed to scrim Quadrant. So there was like this weird, I don't know what was going on. Um, and then Quadrant said they would cancel against Shopify. So I was talking to Shopify and I don't know if they ever got the memo or what was going on, but really weird. So we ended up just like nobody responded after a while and we ended up not scrimming. I came back to the hotel room and I've been fighting, uh, falling asleep. I thought about taking a nap. I didn't. Um, so now I have ordered just some like kind of general grocery-esque items. Um, part of what I do when I come to these events is make sure the team has everything it needs. So energy drinks or sports drinks or granola bars or apples or whatever, which I'm naming specific things that were on the list for this. So I got to run downstairs here soon, hopefully, and pick up the grocery order. And then I also ordered dinner. So that should be coming. Um, the team is all settled back at the hotel. The venue is super sick. I can't show you guys. Well, I guess by the time I upload this, you'll, you'll have seen the venue. It looks really cool. Uh, Quadrant is doing something really unique with this 360 degree main stage. And it's not really elevated. It's much more intimate and like the crowd is just right there. It reminds me a lot of like in Gears events when you were on feature stations uh, at some events, especially the Mexico events. Like the crowd was all around you and just right there, which is really sick. So, um, yeah, I'm really tired. I am a little bit hungry and I've got a couple more like work things to do. Just making sure that I have everything's ready and set for tomorrow. So yeah, that is, that is the update here. This guy's about two minutes away. So I'm going to start heading downstairs. Um, we'll grab the stuff and then we'll come back and check back in. All right. A little out of breath. It's a really long walk down the hallway to my room. Uh, and my food got delivered first. I thought it was the groceries. He handed me my food. So I brought that back. Had to wait for my the groceries. I didn't want to start eating and then have to stop. So groceries, check. Food, check. I'm so hungry and so tired. Oh my God. So I am unpacking. I don't know how the light is. So, you know. Sorry. Here. Maybe not backlighting me as much will help. Uh, I'm unpacking like the spread of uh, groceries that I purchased for this weekend for the team. We got our Red Bull, not a sponsor, but they should be. Got our Monster, also not a sponsor, but they should be. Got some Nature Valley, Gatorade, not a sponsor, but say it with me, but they should be, a little monster for me, more monster for the team. Some apples for the young Jason and some granola bars. Don't ever tell me I'm not good at my job. All right. I think it's about bedtime. I think it is time for me to wrap it up and call it a night. I don't know. It should be a, it should be an interesting interesting tournament, I guess. Um, it's no secret that things have not been going. Let me set this down. It's no secret that things haven't been going great for our team, um, and I, I'm I'm partially to blame for that. Like I I want to be doing more, and should be doing more. Um, 
and I don't really have an excuse for it. It's just, uh, there's, there's things that I like, I can and can't say, right? And I, so I think what I can say is just things aren't meshing as well as they should be. And given the time constraints uh, of, you know, when we had to make a decision for our roster change and, and how that played out, like, um, obviously getting Tyler is, is Spartan. He's a phenomenal player, but it is, um, there's just more difficulty with a, a roster change and new personalities and, you know, the environment of the team changing. So, um, but it's things that we're working on and we're hoping to have a good event. We're still confident that we can show up and beat any team. Um, we just haven't had the same like growth and progress, which if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know, I'm always tweeting like about the progress. That's the most important part. And, um, we've, we've definitely plateaued. Um, we do a lot of things really well, but it's just not consistent. So yeah, it should be an interesting tournament. I mean, if we show up strong, we can beat phase if we, we expect to be cloud nine, uh, they're a good team, but we expect to be able to beat them. Um, and we expect to be able to beat any open bracket team. So, like, theoretically, we could do this as good as we did last event, if not better. Um, it's just tough, you know. But anyways, I am exhausted, so I'm going to call it a night. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will uh, I'll see you when the vlog continues tomorrow for the first day of the event.